back. It's racing up out of the grave, and I'm here to reclaim for the comeback. I know that it's just been a little bit of hot minutes since I was in it. Now you admit it, taking risks, going to quit it, and I didn't mean to leave it. Over evil for the sequel, got control over my soul until I need to make a sequel. The place I used to rule is being claimed by false titles. Not the title of an album or a song, it is my child. It's all I have that makes me anything to anybody. And without it, I am nothing. I won't let you take it from me. I'm the king of strange land till the casket is dropped. While the fighter goes pop like a jack in the box. You gasping in shock? Didn't think I'd blast any shots? 151 rum. Have a glass of the rocks. You're stacking the guap. I'm still a scumbag in the wop. About to serve you like that waitress I just grabbed from your arm. Strange land. Built it with my bare hands. You think that I'm scared? Damn. You looking like a hip hop headband. Glam rap behind all the glitter and glitz and theatrics and hat tricks. Make believe magic. You batshit crazy. You got lazy as fuck, dude. Not hungry like you was. In fact, you even said fuck food. But do whatever you must do. Maintain claims strange, but every time you drop, you say the same thing. Hey, dude, you pay dues. So laugh and count the cash you make. You saturate your fan base or product that you have to make. You rush shit. Run out of ideas and try to touch shit that don't belong to you and say you've never heard my dumb shit. Strange land. Admittedly, the word ain't so absurd, but your title is the lyrics to my song word for word. Try and scam. 2005, you said. No, I'm a fan. And man, I even seen you hold my album in your tiny hands and show your man. Well, let's cover all the shit. But you stick to the story that you ain't all on my dick, then you bite me. Not because you're hype, but you're frightening. But then you signed the cat that sounds remarkably like me. Unoriginal, you dig it for material. The pity, though, you got my nook like it made that video. And then this. They say that there's no chance. A rap Gary Coleman wearing makeup has a bromance. And probably want to slow dance. Enchanted by my raw talent. And you're sad if you think you ain't on my ball baggage. Like sure, grab it. Actually, it's sad. The fact is, I was dancing with my hate man dressed in drag. Not gay as y'all baggage. You successful, but season on the mic, don't bless you. Only text you seen was from your wife saying she left you. I bet you find an unimportant. Cause the thought of being on the road is boring and recording. Just ignore him as you paint your face and sell your soul. You're whoring to the fans and the supporters who afford it. Saying that you do it for him. And you act like you created that whole order you support him. But the truth is, you adapted to a scene that isn't yours. Just to extort him from the hand that fed you painted a face. A shame and disgrace. You hate it, yet you claim to create. And ain't he a fake? Damn, I wish you'd leave me alone. But if you don't get off my throne, I'ma rock you in your red nose. So what a low, what a what a low. To pretend that you don't know that you be repping what I wrote ten years ago. In a record called Killer, when you timid like a little child. Then you went and posed for the cover as a pedophile. In denial, why you hate I'm cute and just ignore me. I try reaching out. Why you ain't call me? For a verse or a hook or some possibly kid. I ain't even get a letter saying sorry and shit. Technically, nine only has nine rhymes. And does the same song 999 times. Einstein found the formula to get in the game. Lil Wayne and an auto tune hook by T Pain. And straight pop shit. Forgetting that the kids in your mosh pit just got this. Then jingle jeans from Hot Topic. I'm not a target. And if you're really so famous, then why the fuck you ask me for the hookup when you come to Vegas? It's killing you. When the creative well runs dry, I wonder why you're so blind to think that you can take mine. I say lines got crossed when you jock my style I give you two black eyes like Monoxide Child Plotting the scheme, following me Then you be jockeying and copying me Never thought in my rottenest dreams You was a bitch, not what I mean Who would've dumped? You was a punk Sloppily copying and it's a front Don't put a gun, but I got a check in the trunk Know that I'm sold, busted and broke Hold up a weight and got nothing to show All of my music is dusty and old Nobody coming to none of my shows Marvelous, rugged and very skid row Been seven days and I'm in the same clothes Sipping on liquor and spitting the flows No one I'll never explode or get dope One thing I know is I'm raising my own Every day they know that Daddy is home, living a life that is not on the road, and one thing they know is pots never stole. You can take it, drop the make a mockery. Nothing, nothing, nothing can run back to stopping me. Thought I was going to be a miracle. Show some gratitude, you don't want me getting mad at you. Welcome to Strange Land, come on down. Step into my world, try to take my crown. Now every turn, then I've locked the gates. Now you can't leave, and this all was
But it's already been known, announced that uh, you know ICP released an infomercial for their Mighty Death Pop, their new album coming out, um, and it was announced that both you and Hobson will be making appearances on this album. Okay. Is Scream the album, the song that, we, that will be featured on the Mighty oh, Death Pop? That's the one I did for him. Okay, and that's going to be on the Mighty Death Pop. All right. Yeah. Um, it, can, can you give us any details on the track? Obviously, it's called Scream. I mean, any particulars that, that you want to share to create some buzz? It's moving like that. It's moving like that. So it made nigga rap. I don't know what I said, but you know, it's about around the time of Q Strange, you know what I'm saying? I was a thief and all that kind of shit, so I was just going, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what the fuck I say, but you know, I'm going, you know what I'm saying? So. Oh wow, that sounds like an awesome track. I yeah, can't wait to hear that. yeah, yeah, I was just venting, you know, people were on Twitter around that time, some girl was like, you're a fucking thief, you stole strange, I'm like, I'm an innovator, bitch, you got me fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, I vented on that song. Wow. I think, I, I gotta go back and see what I said. I, uh, you know, because when I vent, I might say some disrespectful shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the album's gonna be and you'd be like, I don't remember saying that. And I've talked to Q Strange lately, you know what I'm saying? Finally, on the phone, you know what I'm saying? When I was in Boise. And, and um, yeah, it was nothing, you know what I'm saying? We said, nah, it's nothing, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Did the things, fuck, you know, I just don't, I'm coming back at you, you know what I'm saying? He said, okay, I can't wait to hear it, motherfucker. I'm like, okay. <laughs> now, that was something I, I was planning to talk to you about, but so now that. I knew that you and, Q, uh, you and Q had spoken on the phone. It was an interview that was done with uh, Juggalo News relatively recently. Okay. Um, now, you now you just said that you were planning on going back at him at some point, or was that? No, 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 no. I just told him that I'm, I'm sure I said something in that ICP song. Oh, because that was kind of in the more like yeah. wicked underground side of the market. Where no, it was just that that's what was happening at that time. Gotcha. And the song's called Scream. I'm like, when you keep following me, I'm making you. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because I'm an innovator. I ain't got time for motherfuckers saying I bitch shit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, all it's doing, like <clears throat> what Q Strange did, you know, me and him talked about it, so it's good. But it's like what it's doing is making me not want to take demos ever. But I can't have niggas saying that I'm taking shit from them or I'm like, disrespecting them or. Uh, you know, because when people give you a CD, if you listen to it, there's a possibility you can bite some shit if you hear something you like. That ain't my field. You know what I'm saying? That ain't my field because I feel like karma is a bitch. And I don't want nobody bite my shit, which, which people do. But I take it as a compliment. You know what I mean? But what, what, Q, what the Q Strange diss and the Joker diss, all it's doing is making me not want to take CDs from up and coming artists. It's making me not want to listen to beats from niggas or nothing because a nigga hear you, some of your beat that sounds familiar and like, oh, you got that from me. Biting ass motherfuckers, fuck these niggas. And then. That just because they gave you the yeah, CD, that gives them yeah, grounds yeah, to say, if anything happens yeah. to sound like that. And theirs. motherfuckers are so full of themselves that they actually think that somebody that's been working as long as I have and my style's been changing over the years and it's getting better and better and better, that they think that they had a hand in it. Q Strange turned out to be. You know what I'm saying? A motherfucker that got brains and got a heart. You know what I'm saying? So we hollered. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, when it, when it was time for me to go to Vegas, I'm like, where they at? When I was in um, uh, Warstar, I was like, where they at? Where's, where's, the, where's the scumbag superstar? Where they at? I want to talk. I want to see these motherfuckers because motherfuckers was on Twitter was really talking down, really talking crazy. Like, we got motherfucking motherfuckers just got a prison. You know, and I'm like, what? I'm like, we're not gonna talk on Twitter no more. I'll see y'all when I come to y'all town. And that's I'm a real guy, you know what I'm saying? So I wanna see the evil if it's right here because I know I ain't do nothing wrong. I wanna see you in your eyes. Like, is this about music? Is, I mean, what is it? You know what I mean? Because it can't be about nothing real. It has to be about music, you know what I'm saying? And lately, music ain't real at all. You know what I'm saying? Niggas is just facades. You know, they're not getting right in their life. They're just rhyming for the sake of rhyming, nigga. You know, so that's cool. Whatever way you get your money. But um, it's like, I just want to see people. And I didn't get to see him, but I, uh, D-Rock, I think is his name. Mm -hmm. Real motherfucker. Hit me up. I'm like, how you get my number home? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We was in Boise. You know, if I got motherfuckers with me, I'm walking. I'm like, hello? I get a text. Like, this D-Rock, you know what I'm saying? Da-da-da-da-da. I'm like, you know, I'm with Q-Strain. I'm like... Hey man, 
what's up? How, how'd you get my number, homie? <laughs> he told me how he got it. I'm like, oh, okay. What is it? You know what I'm saying? We start talking. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm a real guy, man. I don't, da, da, da. And he turned out to be that, too. And he went where Q was and gave him the phone. You know what I'm saying? We talked about this. Shit. I'm like, oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? He said he did give me the CD before. And I was like, nigga, you know how many drugs I was on back then? Why would I wait 10 years later to put out your ID? You know what I'm saying? Like, God damn, dude. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I, I really don't remember, nigga, having, I remember D. Schneider's strange, man. I, I have it. You know what I'm saying? I love D. Schneider. I love uh, Twisted Sister. I love that he does horror films. I love that shit. I'm into that shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, E-40 say, when Bell Bacardi back in the day was like, he got, it is what it is from him or something like that. E-40 said, uh, you know, when you're thinking of one thing on this side of the planet, on the other side of the planet, motherfuckers are thinking the same thing. We grew up watching the same thing, similarities, you know what I'm saying? I ain't the only motherfucker that think they're the king of darkness. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, Eminem might think he's the king of darkness because of all his pain. He can fit that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, 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 King Gordy, you know what I'm saying? He probably felt like he's the king of darkness. They're kind of darkness, you know what I'm saying? The horrorcore shit, you know what I'm saying? That ain't what I was talking about. You know what I'm saying? But we all the same. It's just making me not, I was going back to it, just make me not want to take CDs from motherfuckers, make me not want to see other people show their beats or nothing because I want to alienate myself from taking anything from anybody. Like, because I've never done that and I don't want motherfuckers to do it to me. And now, to, to wrap up the, the subject of these these two beefs real quick, um, two quick follow-up questions. Um, so you and Q Strange are completely on good terms oh, yeah. with Copacetic at this point. Oh, yeah. There's no more issues between the two. Nothing. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing. I'm talking about, it got to where I was talking to D-Rock, and he said, you even put up a shirt, one of our shirts. And I was like, what are you talking about? He said, it, like I was in Worcester on a couple tours ago, and there was a dude in the front row that had this yellow shirt and said, if hip-hop is dead, we the motherfucking zombies. I'm like, and they threw it at me. And I kept it. I loved it so much. I kept it and it dried out. I didn't know that was a goddamn Q Strange shirt. I wouldn't have gave a fuck. I would have wore it anyway. Because I didn't know who he was at the time. You know what I'm saying? Tech, the first interview I did with you in June of 2010, you came out, or um, I was doing an interview with Calico, and you came out holding the shirt in the middle of the interview. Yeah. I remember that very vividly. I loved it. D-Rock told me that's their shirt. Wow. I said, damn. And so when I did Zombie with uh, E-40, E-40 sent me the beat. You're a zombie. I said, good, a thing. Like, oh, he's biting again. Look, I'm like, that's how I found out about the shirt. I'm like, you motherfuckers are crazy. So I called D-Rock. I said, oh, so I quit y'all motherfuckers again? He started laughing. <laughs> I'm like, damn. I said, Q-Strange got a song called Zombie too. He's like, nah, this is our shirt that we gave you a long time ago. I'm like, nigga, I don't believe know that's you. That sweaty ass shirt I took home. Okay, and the last thing I got on this subject was, what, why did you have, I know it was a small response, but what made you uh, have your, your small, you know, few second response to Joker um, and his diss track, whereas Q Strange uh, <laughs> did not get any anything along those lines. It was all kind of kept on Twitter. Because I was mad at Q Strange before I talked to him because the people were making it turn out to be some street shit. And I was, going, I was like, okay, if we're going to stop doing music, we're going to go do that. Gotcha. So I cut it off. When, it, when I cut it off, that means we try to do something else. Okay. It's not going to be about rap. It's not going to be, you know what I'm saying? That's just how I feel. And they was talking about my daughters and shit. I'm going to fuck your daughters and kill them and da da da. These are people, these are people that's representing him. So, that's, and that's when I said, oh. And I, I wasn't aware of that. Oh, man. It was getting so bad on Twitter, man. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Niggas talking about they going to get me in Vegas and come to Vegas. We're going to come, you know. I'm like, really? And you like that ain't me. All right. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, that's why I cut the cute strange to 